All right, how's everybody doing? So, reason I made this video is because I got a Dakota Alert MERS, the M538 um, driveway alarm, and I've been using the CR123A uh, lithium batteries for about a year, and I just wasn't happy with how long they're um, the batteries were lasting. So I am going to attempt to um, hook it up to a stationary sealed lead acid um, 12 volt battery. Um, you can buy them on Amazon or wherever. They're basically used for kids' go karts or. Um, wheelchairs, whatnot. Um, so I bought one of those and uh, I want to do away with my CR123A lithium batteries. Um, I got a 12 volt battery which um, since these lithium batteries were wired in series the 12 volt should uh, work fine. Um, I couldn't find any di wiring diagrams or schematics online for this uh, M538 unit so um, just gonna have to kind of uh, show you how to uh, work your way through with a meter and figure out where to uh, where you want to hook the 12 volt battery. So uh, as you can see, I popped the the board out of the unit um, so I could work on it better. But usually it's set inside like that. You can just um, pull the tab away off the bottom here. Uh, and pop it out to work on it. Uh, so I got the unit out and uh, I've got a simple uh, wiggy tester um, meter. It doesn't show continuity or ohms but it has the ability to detect continuity. Um, so that's what I'm going to use for this. As you can see, when you touch the leads together, you get an audible buzz and a light turns on. So that's all I really need to do to figure out um, where I need to splice in my 12 volt battery. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is on each one of these um, plus, plus and minus on the battery, uh, the way they're wired is a plus over here goes to a minus over here. Maybe maybe this minus goes to this plus over here, but you don't know. So um, if you check continuity between each plus and minus, you'll figure out which ones are attached to each other because you'll hear the audible buzz, let's say, between these two. Um, but the ones that you want to attach your battery to are the ones that are not connected to any of the other pluses or minuses. So through the process of elimination, um, I'll show you, you can just w work your way through and see which one is not connected to um, any other one. And I have them marked here because I already found it out, but um, there, the plus on this one is not connected and the minus on this one is not connected, but who knows if they're all wired the same, so it's probably better you check anyways. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. Try to get it set in the camera here so you can see. There's already there's some wires attached to the back um, that I don't want to mess up. So um, maybe if I just set it like that, move it in a little closer here, so you can see. You can see I put a yellow dot on the ones that I already found, but basically what you want to do is um, take your meter and work your way through each one. So I'll start on this one here with the black and touch all the minuses. So you can see that one, the positive here and the minus here are connected, but if I check this one, it's not, and if I check this one, it's not. So I know this one is in series with this one here. So I do not want to hook my batteries to those. 
Um, so then I'll work from this one here, this, this positive on this one, I'll check the negative on this one. Well, there it's connected to that. So this one's connected to that and this one's connecting that. They're kind of in a pattern. So I'll move on um, and I will check the other ones. So no connection, no connection. This one's probably going to be the connection. Okay, so I don't want to hook my battery to those ones, so I eliminate those. Um, so then I move on to this positive and I check this negative, nothing, 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 um, and nothing, and nothing. So I can touch all of these and I won't get a buzz. So that tells me that this one here with the yellow mark um, is one that I do want to hook up to my battery. Um, and so then I moved on to this last one and check. I was getting something strange there. I'm not sure what that was, but um, might have been back feeding through the circuitry. But anyways, um, there's nothing. So this one here is the other one that uh, I want to hook my, my main battery to. Um, so then uh, that's about it. I'm sure on the back of this here there's um, a way to figure out and solder to the back um, but I'm gonna just keep it simple and attach my leads right onto the front there. Um, I hope that helps and I'll definitely uh, show what I've got for the finished product. Uh, anyways, Thanks a lot, bye. Okay, so here's the completed system with the uh, battery all wired in uh, to replace the lithium, lithium ion batteries. You can see here, I've uh, got my wires soldered to the positive here and then another wire soldered to the negative here. Um, and I have a couple bullet connectors uh, and then power wires coming out the bottom. Those run over to my cheap ammo can. They go inside where I've got my uh, 12 volt, 10 and a half amp hour battery, sealed lead acid, which I will be able to charge when it runs out. And I thought I'd show the uh, other item, which is this uh, UV5R radio, which uh, I programmed for the Dakota station. And then I've just got a uh, 12 volt car charger wired into a 12 volt DC power supply. So that's what, it's a lot uh, easier than getting more base stations. So I just have these plugged around the house uh, where I need to hear the alert. So that is that.